Uh, today we're going to talk about Prop 37's failure last night in California. Prop 37 is the bill that would require GMOs to label all products, uh, just like cigarettes basically have warning labels on them. So Prop 37 failed and everybody's freaking out going, how could anybody not vote for Prop 37? And I, even though I, I had reservations over voting yes on 37, I still do because I do believe, even though I don't believe that we need more laws or any, gov any uh, business should be regulated any more than they already are by the government, I do believe GMOs are fucking poison. And it would make my life easier because I, I do my research on all the food I eat and all the food, you know, my son eats to make sure, you know, where our intake of GMOs is to the lowest that is realistic. And 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 having a label there on everything and, and knowing, you know, everything right off the bat instead of having to look it up on my phone or spend time looking it up is definitely cool. You know, and it, and it should be that way. And uh, I do believe Monsanto is the devil. But the fatal flaw here is that, you know, regardless of how many people voted for 37, Monsanto has infiltrated our government. Do you think they're going to let a bill like that pass that would cause you know, them to lose massive amounts of profits? And, and then what if uh, you know, what we did uh, went like wildfire across the country. They'd be fucked. They've already been kicked out of almost every country in the world except here. Um, I don't know. I don't know why everyone's so surprised. That, you know, good bills don't pass. Prop 8, you know, uh, didn't pass. Uh, medical marijuana didn't pass. You know, like good stuff doesn't pass because the powers that be will lose too much money. This is business. This is, this is corporatism at its best. This is what they do for a living. They maximize profits. They don't care about the people. There's too many of us. We're just an object out there to, to, to embezzle to them. So for you to be shocked that 37 didn't pass, I think is a little naive, but, uh, anyway, checking for GMOs is not that hard. You know, you're not going to get 100% of them, but if you just Google Apple, <laughs> this red apple with this number on it, is it ge genetically modified? There, There's tons of stuff available that uh, will help you get rid of GMOs, and the only way we can get rid of Monsanto is by boycotting them, and if everybody pays attention to what they eat and we stop buying that shit they won't make money anymore and you know the, the, we'll use their business against them but anyway so um you know just pay attention you know don't eat shit don't eat processed you know anything that's processed heavily processed has got to have some sort of gmo in it like it's it's corn it's it's everything but you know true true organic food is labeled certified organic so you know whether or not it says gmo on it you know, whether it's a, a label saying that it's genetically modified or it's a label saying organic, certified organic, it, it, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, when you buy organic food, it's not genetically modified. Anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, stop putting so much, like, the, our government is not going to help us here, and our government isn't going to help us right now um and, and voting a bunch of times or going out and getting people to vote it's just a waste of time because it's all rigged you know it's all business to them and if they if they uh they control the rules they control the game